what are some of the causes of a biotin deficiency? So we can get it from our diet. So dietary sources of vitamin B7 or biotin include egg yolk. So egg yolk is quite rich in biotin. We can also get it in salmon, pork, oats, and wheat, mushrooms, dairy, spinach, and rice. And there's also gut microbe synthesis. So you have certain populations of bacteria within your gastrointestinal system that can actually produce biotin. Because we get a significant amount from gut microbe synthesis, it can actually be quite rare to see certain biotin deficiencies or very severe biotin deficiencies, but you could see a biotin insufficiency, so not quite having enough. But we'll just talk about some of the categories of potential causes here. So one of those category of causes is poor dietary intake. So we talked about getting biotin from dietary sources. If you're not eating enough, then this can cause a biotin deficiency. So one of the patient populations you'll see most often with deficiencies is patients with chronic alcoholism. Again, multiple factors as to why this occurs, but one of them is because they're not eating enough, but it can also actually prevent the absorption of biotin itself. We can also see it in consumption of raw egg whites. In uncooked eggs, there is a protein avidin, and this protein prevents the absorption of biotin. So we talked about egg yolk being a source that is quite rich in biotin, but if it's not cooked, no matter how much biotin is in that egg yolk, if it's uncooked, avidin is present in its natural form. It binds to the biotin, preventing its absorption. Parenteral nutrition can also cause a biotin deficiency. So if individuals are getting nutrients through IV lines and other mechanisms, this can lead to a biotin deficiency and malnutrition in general as well. Another category of causes is decreased bacterial synthesis. So again, we talked about gut microbes being a significant source of biotin. And if there's decreased bacterial synthesis, we can see a biotin deficiency. We can see it with inflammatory bowel disease. So in general, there are issues within the gastrointestinal system that can lead to decreased bacterial synthesis and broad spectrum antibiotics. So this can lead to wiping out of gut microbes. So Individuals on broad spectrum antibiotics could lead to a potential biotin deficiency because they've essentially wiped out those gut microbes that are producing a lot of biotin for them. Another category of causes is decreased absorption. So again, we can see this with inflammatory bowel disease, inflammation in the gastrointestinal system from diseases like Crohn's disease can prevent the proper absorption of vitamins in general, and biotin is one of them. GI surgery. So again, if an individual has large portions of their gastrointestinal system removed due to surgery, they have decreased surface area, preventing them from absorbing nutrients and vitamins properly. And again, alcoholism. We talked about this before. This can lead to poor dietary intake, but also a decreased ability to absorb biotin as well. Another category of causes is medications, so anticonvulsants, so anti-seizure medications. And this may play a role in this next category we're going to talk about, increased catabolism or increased breakdown of biotin. So you may be getting it, you may be absorbing it, but your body is breaking it down. And the anticonvulsants might be doing this, and we can see this with smoking. So women who smoke have been shown to have increased catabolism or increased breakdown of biotin. So the anticonvulsants may also fit in with this category as well. And we can see it with genetics. So there's a genetic condition known as biotinidase deficiency, and this can lead to a biotin deficiency as well.